Is it time to buy or sell Meta stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Meta. Our initial report was published on our website on Monday, July 31, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since January 3, 2023, our system has ranked Meta as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 2.23. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. Those who followed our analysis would have enjoyed an impressive gain of 155.41% since we first listed Meta as a buy candidate 144 days ago. This translates to an average return of 1.08% per day since it was listed as by candidate. The stock lies in the middle of a strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend suggests a potential 35.84% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 27.34% and 39.37%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a 114.69% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between 45.86% and 119.79%. This translates to a price range of $464.71 to $700.26 after a year. Our latest daily update for Meta includes the headline, Meta stock downgraded from strong by candidate to by candidate after Monday trading session. The Meta stock price fell by minus 2.11% on the last day, Monday, July 31, 2023, from $325.48 to $318.60. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.54% from a day low at $317.59 to a day high of $325.66. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 2.57% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 15 million shares and in total, 24 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $7.56 billion. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $326.20, and the lowest price was $88.09. Currently, the price is 2.33%, or $7.60, below the 52-week high, and 17.1%, or $65.73, below the all-time high on September 1, 2021, when the price reached $384.33. Analysts have given Meta stock a general buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Meta. The Meta stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $304.96 and $293.29. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Friday, July 28, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 2.11%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal two days ago. 
Bollinger, by signal 2 days ago. Short-term moving average, by signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal not applicable days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. Holds a sell signal. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, by signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 140 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 132 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Meta Meta finds support from accumulated volume at $311.71 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This stock has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the stock moved $8.07 between high and low, or 2.54%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.38%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Meta, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. A relatively low P-E ratio could signal a low expectation for the future of the company or that the stock is undervalued, indicating a potential buying opportunity. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 24, 2023. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Meta. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Meta is at $325.48. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. On the downside, Meta encounters its first support level at $311.71. If this support level holds, it could be a good entry point, anticipating a rebound. The combined average rating for Meta from multiple analyst sources is buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were executed by Neusta Jennifer, who bought and sold 3,610 shares or options in the company. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 5.985. Overall, Insiders purchased 142,655 shares and sold 161,456 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is set at $304, minus 4.58%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found one day ago. Is Meta stock a good buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Meta stock to perform well in the short term. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a strong buy to a buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Tuesday, August 1st, we expect Meta to open up $2.02 .02 and start trading at $320.62. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.